For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him will not perish, but will have everlasting life. What does the word only begotten son mean? A lot of people think that it's about his birth. We will look at and learn these lessons. Firstly, we'll look at the words used for only begotten son. Secondly, we will see that the only begotten son is not about his birth, but about his resurrection. Thirdly, today I have begotten you means Jesus is set as the king. Fourthly, today I have begotten you is also applied to the priesthood of Jesus. Let's first look at the usage of the word the only begotten son. Only in King James and New King James Version, John 3.16 reads like this, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. The word begotten son is used in King James, New King James, and New American Standard Bible. NIV uses one and only son. That, has, that is probably one of the best translations for that word. And ESV uses only son. Then the obvious question is, what does the original say? What does the Greek say? The Greek word used there is called monogenes. Monogenes. What does this word monogenes mean? And how is it used in the scripture? It is very seldom used word in the entire New Testament. Monogenes does not mean that he was born first. Monogenes does not mean that he is just to so to speak uh, the, the only son and he does not have other sons. The word monogenes is used another time to talk about Isaac, Abraham's son. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 17 uses about Isaac as the only son. What does that word monogenes mean? The word monogenes means that he is the heir of everything or a unique son or a one of a kind son and more than that. It is he whom fathers considers as the heir of all things. Just like Abraham had Ishmael before Isaac. So the word monogenes does not mean the order of the firstborn. No, it does not mean that. The monogenes does not also mean that he is, so to speak, the only son. Meaning, he does not have, Abraham does not have other sons. But if you look at Abraham, you know, Ishmael is the first son, Isaac is the second son, and he has other children through Keturah. That's what the Bible says. So, monogenes does not mean he is the only son to the father. What does that monogenes mean? Monogenes means that he is considered as the heir of everything. To him belongs the inheritance. To him belongs the heritage. He is a unique son whom God is treating him as the heir of all things. So when you think about mono, you know, only begotten son, it does not mean that God has only one son. It does not mean that God does not have other sons. It does not talk about the order of birth. It says that he is the heir of everything and he is the unique son. He is the one of a kind son. That's what monogenes means. Just because of the English translation we have the tr problem. Secondly, the only begotten. The word begotten is not only used in the New Testament English translation, but also in the Old Testament. Psalm 2 verse 7 says, I will tell of a decree. The Lord said to me, you are my son and today I have begotten you. It says, today I have begotten you. Psalm 2 verse 7. Then you might say, if Jesus is the only begotten, then it should talk about his birth. No. God is speaking 
the context of Psalm 2 is this. God speaking to David. And he says, the context is, when David built a palace for himself, and he looks at the tabernacle of the Lord in a tent, in the, in the, the tabernacle, he says, I live in a palace, but God dwells in a tabernacle, in a tent. So I should build a dwelling place for God. That was the desire of David. Then God says. God speaks in 2 Samuel chapter 7. And he says. You shall not build a tabernacle. But your son Solomon. I will be to him a father he says. And the same context he says. Today I have begotten you. David writes Psalm 2 saying like this. Why do the nations rage. And the people plot in vain. The kings of the earth said themselves. And the rulers of the earth take counsel together saying, Let us burst their bonds apart and cast their cords away from us. But he who sits in heaven laughs. The Lord sets them in derision, says Psalm 2 verse 4. He will speak to them in his wrath. And he will address them in his fury saying, I have set my king upon Zion, my holy hell. Then Psalmist David is saying to the nations, what is he saying? He says like this, I will tell of a decree. Today, the Lord said to me, today I have begotten you. You are my son. That is the context. So when all nations of the world are plotting against David, David is saying, God has set his king upon Zion, his holy hill. That is applied to Jesus. That's applied to Jesus three times in the New Testament. Psalm 2 is quoted three times in the New Testament. The first time is in Acts chapter 13 verse 33. Where Apostle Paul is quoting Psalm 2 and talks about not the birth of Jesus. Talks about resurrection of Jesus. Listen carefully. Jesus is not called the son of God or the only begotten just because he was born to Virgin Mary. But Jesus is called the only begotten son because of his resurrection, not his birth. That is what it means. The only begotten son means that today I have begotten you means today for you have been made declared as a son. Romans chapter 1 verse 4 also says that Jesus is declared the son of God because of his resurrection. So Jesus is not the only begotten because of the birth or his virgin birth. But because of his resurrection, God is declaring Jesus to be the permanently the title, the only begotten son or the son of God. That makes that should make it very clear for us. Psalm 2 quoted by Acts chapter 13, Paul talking about the resurrection. And Paul again asserts it, the same truth, Romans chapter 1 verse 4 saying, Jesus is declared as the only begotten son because of his resurrection, not because of his birth. Thirdly, the only begotten language. Psalm 2 is quoted the second time in the New Testament by the writer of Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 1. And then from verse 5 onwards, he says, when he brought his firstborn son into this world, he says, you are my son, today I have begotten you. What is he talking about there? He is talking about the kingship of Lord Jesus. And that he is established as God there. If you go back to the context of Psalm 2. He says, I will tell of a decree. The Lord said to me, you are my son and today I have begotten you. And then the next verse it says, The scepter, ask of me, I will give nations as an inheritance, and the ends of the earth as a possession. You will rule them with the rod of iron. You will dash them to pieces like a potter's vessel. When he talks about the begotten son, the begotten son is talked about as a king who will rule. To him all will come down and bow down and worship. 
The same thing is spoken in Hebrews chapter 1 verse 6. When he brought his firstborn into this world, he's, he said, let all the angels worship him. So the only begotten means that Jesus is set as a king on his holy hill on Zion. Fulfillment of the prophecy of David in the life of Lord Jesus. If you ever think, what does son mean? Every time son is spoken about, kingship is talked about. When angel Gabriel appears to Mary, it's recorded in Luke chapter 1 verse 32 verse 33. And angel Gabriel says like this, He will be great and will be called the son of the most high. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, he says. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever. And his kingdom will have no end, will never end. So he talked about the son of the most high. His father will give him the throne of David. You see there? Whenever he talked about the son of most high God, the only begotten son. It talks about the kingship. Jesus is the eternal king. And he will rule forever and ever. Going back to Psalm 2. Okay, there he says. Be warned. O kings of the earth. He says. you know, Be wise O rulers of kings of the earth. And be warned O rulers of the earth. Kiss the son. Lest he be angry. And you will perish. The only begotten son means he is a king who deserves all our worship. Then the next verse says in Psalm 2, Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Serve the Lord with fear. You know, people should come and worship him. They should serve the Lord with fear. That's what the only begotten son means. It does not talk about just because Jesus was born to Virgin Mary, he's called the son, only begotten son. No, the word, the only son, or today I have begotten you means that Jesus has been set up as a king. And everyone should worship him. Everyone should serve him with fear. And blessed are those who take refuge in him. Says Psalm chapter 2 verse 12. You'll be blessed if Jesus is the king of your life. Lastly, what does that only begotten mean? And what should we understand as the only begotten? Only begotten says, today I have begotten you means that God the Father is setting up Jesus as the priest. Psalm 2 verse 7 is quoted the third time in the New Testament. In Hebrews chapter 5. And verse 5, he says like this. Hebrews chapter 5 and, uh, uh, and verse 5.